Hello everyone, and welcome back to my Let's Play of Commander of the Great War. Um, we're about to circulate our troops um, throughout the front. We'll just move these garrison units towards the rear. One of the rear positions, one of these rear and forest positions. Move some infantry up. Engage, um... Fly an aircraft overhead. We can break them here. That's the thing, though. We'll just plug that gap with someone new eventually. I wonder what Everett does. Hmm. Two defensive generals. <laughs> what does my gent do? Von Falkenheim. Yeah, at least he's better at defense. This looks to be a long, bloody, drawn-out war on the Eastern Front. But hey, at least it's not cold. Or at least not snowing. It's November, but there's no snow yet. If we can move this unit down, how will entrench to these men? They will have an entrenchment of two. We can hit these gents with a, um, air raid, lower their efficiency, and then move some infantry in to attack them, while attacking both these guys with garrison. They may be able to retake Cater- no, that wouldn't work. We'll try and force them back here. I don't believe the defenses would hold out much longer. The Austrian is best. I'm gonna go ahead and check this Austrian. Alright. Austrians are able to support the larger of an army, go for it. We have enough infantry over there. We'll need this infantry over here to help as replacements. I'm sorry, I believe I just breathed all over the microphone. And, uh. Tw -tw -tw. We'll need a secondary line of defense here to help defend the railroad. Is that garrison different? They are. Ah, uses the barbed wire and machine gun ottomans. Much cooler looking than the regular ottomans. They're sweet tan thingies. Prepare to get ottomized. That's not really dirty. And um, so yeah, how about that? The ottomans get to look cool now. And, uh, tr -tr -tr I like that, it changes. I did not know that that's what happened. I mean, how about that? So we might need some artillery. Tr -tr 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 -tr. Maybe a fighter plane. We'll get a fighter plane eventually. Uh, or infantry, though. I'm a bit curious as to what's producing things for us. Seizure of Novogregovsk in Warsaw would be mm, maybe helpful, maybe not. Hmm. Wonder how much.
much allow oh it costs forty five. If we were to go in here and just say cancel that. How much would Germany have then? Twenty six. It's not worth it. Canceling two future infantry units. I'll need that we'll wait a we'll wait a little while and then we will uh try buying another lab for Germany in how about infantry warfare? I don't think I'll ever have the Austrians use their navy, so we might sell one of those and get some extra uh, off off three off the ends. Get some extra Austrians. We should be handing them machine guns soon, though. Next turn, maybe two turns. Let's get an attack by the Allies. So Russian submarine sank something. British cruiser sank. Is it normal mine cruiser? How did you do that? Um. All right. I call hacks, but meh. Whatever. Just waiting on the AI to try and pummel me. Hmm. I believe the Russians will be attacking next. They seem to have bypassed Konigsberg. Which is strange, considering how much help it is. Um, we'll have to move that cruiser down to our home port and our battleships into port as well to escape that submarine. It appears to be so ruthlessly hunting us. Cherry garage. Need to reinforce those men. Oh, jeez, not a breakthrough. Please don't break through. <laughs> can move the garrison unit in there to fix that. Actually, I can move this infantry over there near Brislau. I can fix that at Danzig. Alright, it is good that I have that German infantry. Hold, for God's sake, and hold. The Austrians are slowly losing ground. We may have to abandon our line altogether. I wish we could sue for peace with Serbia. We have too many fronts. There's no way we can effectively fight them all. I don't have enough men. I believe I'm going to have to redirect resources from the Western Front. Damn the Serbians. And damn the Austrians. bore this crisis upon me. I'm left to hold the line with nothing but boys. Stupid garrison troops. And infantry. can finally upgrade our Austrian troops with machine guns. The ones that aren't required in a new scrambling offensive. Please tell me we have some. Now we must rush. 
What do you do? Nothing important. You're important now. We have to plug this gap with something. I might move my artillery unit into a temporary defense while I... Damn you, men. Damn you and your limited mobility. I can feel many counter offensives against the Serbs coming. Yeah. Alright, let's let them overextend. Crush them when they try and poke out through a narrow gap like that. Let them try and stick their heads out. Cut them off. Everyone who's not required for that can get upgrade. There. Now you all have machine guns and fight step squabble around the mud. For God's sake, I mean, hold the line. It is the one thing we need so desperately. More than anything. Must be held. Move them to Jerusalem. They can dig in around there. Hopefully, these men can hold it, Gaza. Though I suspect that British cruiser will be back for more. I shall expect them. I shall bring my battleship down to attempt to deal with them. Oh. Oh. A battle fleet. Intriguing. Just complaining about how bad we have it with these men already fighting. Let's reinforce those Austrians. Rush these men up to fill that gap as quickly as possible. Try to fill. God, you can watch our manpower pools just slowly tick down as we lose ever-increasing more men. <sighs> Why can I not shoot at him? We're, we're, we're at war, aren't we? He's a cruiser and he has a submarine. Do I not know yet how to shoot at those people? battleship. I suppose they'll keep sneaking people down the channel until we find a way to stop them. How's Brussels doing? It's doing better. Let's fix that. Well, actually, Antwerp's doing better as well. So. We'll bomb that garrison unit there. This will be the next target of our wrath. Von Hindenburg needs to be reinforced. This imagery in the back, for some reason, needs to be reinforced. Suspect I've pulled them off the line before. It looks as though this would be... Hmm. It does not appear that they've properly dug in yet. Alright, how does Brussels look now? Perfect. Utterly demolished. 
It's a sad state the front's in at this end of these two episodes. It's stagnated in the west. In the east, it's frozen over. No one's breaking through that ice. In the south, the Serbs have managed to rally and push just a little bit. Just a little bit. Just enough to punch a tiny, tiny hole in there. It must retake Sarajevo. The Turks are having a hard time down to the south. With most of their forces committed to a strange defense against an enemy that remains unseen. Now the world becomes interesting, I suppose. It's frozen over and almost Christmas. Or should be over in a few days. <laughs> over by Christmas, eh? Anyways, as always, I'm Tomato. Thanks for watching. And for your information, yes, this is what it looks like when hell freezes over. Goodbye.